the Heritage Center at IIT Madras was inaugurated in 2006 through the combined efforts of directors Natarajan and Anant and Professor Ajit Kolar. It has recently been redesigned based on feedback from visitors and the center's theater has been renovated as well. This film has been commissioned to mark the occasion. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. It may not seem like it, but this is Chennai. Located in this forest is an institution that has contributed so greatly to India's intellectual capacity that it is almost impossible to fully comprehend its impact on the world. The Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, is one of the premier universities of India, nurturing some of the brightest minds of the country and moulding them into the world's most innovative technologists. The university's unique cream campus, one-of-a-kind laboratories, domain-leading pedagogy, and a good measure of extracurricular activities all contribute to making them the industry leaders of tomorrow. The secret behind IIT Madras's ability to create such innovative leaders lies in its past and the incredible vision of the forerunners who set up the institution. In the 1950s, there was a need to create a highly skilled and technical Indian workforce. The Indian Institutes of Technology soon began to be set up and IIT Madras was third in line. What made IIT Madras unique was their connection to a country that was synonymous with the word engineering, Germany. They offered support by providing state-of-the-art German machinery and experienced German professors to train the first batch of 120 bright Indian minds. We had one week of workshop followed by one week of theory classes. One week of workshop is so intense that from morning to evening, you had to be engaged in doing lab work, you know, machinery work. The Germans were particular about the cleanliness. Workshop was clean, maintained clean, machine should be clean, correct specifications, that test should be only in 70 degrees uh, inclination. Uh, they're meticulous. And I remember that they gave us a project in one of the uh, exams of converting a cylindrical piece into a cube just by filing. So you need to keep filing away, hours together, days together, till you get blisters on your fingers. So the workshop was so, so tough. Some students could not manage. They even went out to IIT because uh, they could not manage the workshops. So that's a very important lesson that we learned during that time. And I think it has stood me in very good stead. It is no exaggeration if I say I am what I am because of IIT Madras. Unlike other universities of the day, the significant amount of time spent in practical work cemented their learnings from the classroom. Very soon, with newly developed capabilities, IIT Madras started providing unique solutions to a young nation's real-world problems. IIT Madras was now well on its way to becoming a hub for industry research and learning. Over the last 60 years, IIT Madras has grown to a university having 16 departments, with most having a core engineering focus. The students at IIT Madras come from all over India and the world. They are thrust into a highly challenging study environment with regular classes and work assignments that constantly challenge them. 
The university is equipped with state-of-the-art equipment that helps students gain experience on industry standard technology and keep them on the cutting edge of innovation. They have really big labs and really big workshops. You can, depending on the lab you're enrolled, you can use almost every kind of machine you can imagine. So I think in our campus you will then get this option. So coming here, I had the option to, yeah, to get in with machines that I've never seen before and I didn't even know they existed. What makes IIT Madras unique is their focus on applied research. 37 centers of excellence give opportunities for students to pursue research in an area of their interest as they study. An interdisciplinary environment pushes students to think beyond just their selected academic courses and broadens their perspectives. We get a chance that around 40% to 50% of our credits, we can do it from other departments. For example, I'm doing my minor in mathematics because after my second year, I realized that I'm not going to go in mechanical engineering. So let's pursue the thing that I like. And I think that is something where our college gives a lot of opportunities. Uh, the best thing which I find about IIT is it's not about academics, so it's not about the things that we learn, but it's about the people that we meet. Uh, rather than learning from the teachers, you get to learn many things from your peers. It is one of the most important thing in any premier institute like IITs. The residential nature of the IIT Madras campus plays a huge role in creating tomorrow's technology leaders. With some of the smartest minds of the country on campus, the atmosphere is abuzz with new ideas and infectious passion for innovation. IIT Madras is a co-ed university with a rising number of women on campus. So the campus is really inclusive and everyone gets along. We thought we have maybe some different cultures, but this is not a problem. We all are friends, we all hang out, and it's really nice. The campus life is like really easy, because like we have everything here. We have cycles to go everywhere. Like we have everything, this is like a little city. Students on campus have a long list of activities, clubs, events, and gatherings that keep them engaged during their free time. People can really let go and, uh, you know, this sort of community and sort of family feeling that you get. Uh, it only comes when you can let go of your boundaries. Like, these memories that we form in our hostels, uh, very, very nice, yeah. You know, when you get uh, tired of studying or when you just wanted to take a walk, it's like everywhere you go, it's trees and fresh air and it's, it's a very nice atmosphere uh, to walk around. So, it feels safe and it feels comfortable and relaxed. IIT Madras is located in the heart of Chennai, one of the six most populated cities in India. But once students enter the gates of IIT Madras, they enter a completely different world. A world of woodlands, lakes and wildlife. IIT Madras is 600 acres of beautiful dry evergreen scrub forests and is home to one of India's most iconic and graceful antelopes, the black buck. Students who are coming for the first time to the campus uh, get mes mesmerized by the greenery around and the, you have been shifted to uh, maybe 100 years back in time. And you are living with uh, spotted deer, monkeys, I mean, you name it, you know, where will you get it in the midst of, midst of a city? The first day I came, I was like seeing deers everywhere. So I was like, oh my God, uh, I've never seen this. But then we got used to it. Now it feels like they're just our partners, like uh, the way we feel for cute little dogs and cats in our homes. The same way we feel about deers now. Students and wildlife coexist beautifully with each other. Every corner of the campus has something to observe for a person interested in the natural world. So we have started this uh, group which is called Prakriti the Wildlife Club, which is actually consisting of faculty, students, um, residents and alumni as well. We also participate in um, you know, planning and um, development of the campus in general and to avoid more conflicts and uh, loss of habitat for wildlife, etc. 
the master plan we have clearly marked the deer corridors and blackbird corridors so whenever some construction activities or any developmental activities happens in the campus we make sure that these corridors are not at all disturbed even our strategic plan okay we are very clearly mentioned that biodiversity conservation and making a sustainable campus is our priority IIT Madras has taken steps to preserve as much green cover as possible. New buildings coming up have been built taller rather than spread horizontally to maintain a smaller footprint. The forest and the animals that inhabit it make IIT Madras one of the most extraordinary university campuses in the world. academic institutions abroad or all good academic institutions abroad, they all have a university research park. It's been found to be a fertile source of ideas and a source of intellectual property rights. So it is clear that we needed a research park ourselves. So we started the first phase when I was director, we completed the first phase in 2010. And uh, now the second phase has been completed also since then when Bhaskar took over as director, he's completed second phase. I started trying to build relationship with industry and try to figure out what is going on there. I found that the most industries are actually importing technology, lock, stock and barrel. They are practically doing no R&D. And it was very natural that IIT's R&D should focus on working with industry. And from there onwards, there has been effort to try to get, get industry and academia to work together. The IIT Madras Research Park is a place where ideas come to life with an intent to transform the lives of people. From mobility to power solutions and even launching satellites into space, the research park incubates and nurtures the ideas of tomorrow. It has currently helped launch a number of innovative companies to go from prototype to product. These companies have gone on to become pathbreakers in their respective fields. The IIT Madras Research Park, through its 10x goals, plans to make the impossible possible by expanding its goals and operations tenfold to positively impact industry and society alike. Even though the university has modernized over the years, IIT Madras has retained a lot of its original structures from its inception. These buildings have been revamped and students today still continue to use them just as their counterparts did in the 1960s. So one uh, very good feature of uh, this IIT is the great bond that exists between the alumni and the institution itself. Students continue their relationship with the university well after they have graduated. The IIT Madras alumni believe in giving back to their alma mater. Apart from lecturing and counselling at the university, they also fund large infrastructure projects that help further research and benefit generations of students in IIT Madras. Because of those alumni networks, we are still getting much benefits in terms of placements as well. So they bring in their own companies are coming here to recruit uh, people from IIT Madras. Even though 50 years have gone, I've kept my contact with IIT. And it's always a pleasure to come back to this campus. Around the time IIT Madras was turning 50, there was a lot of interest in the heritage of uh, the institute. So the idea of a museum was being discussed and finally it uh, crystallized into the heritage center. The heritage center was created uh, with the stated intention of uh, collecting items of heritage value to IIT Madras and to exhibit them. The heritage club is one of the many clubs of uh, IIT Madras and it caters to the interests of students who are interested in the heritage of the institute itself as well as the world outside. 
the activities are in the form of uh, talks, workshops and so on, which specially cater to students. One of the activities of the Heritage Centre is the Heritage Walk, where visitors and students are taken to different parts of the campus and shown historic buildings and landmarks. They are also taken on beautiful nature trails which lead to serene lakes and ancient temples. IIT Madras has grown exponentially over the years and is bursting at the seams with ideas and research to pursue. A new campus at Tayur in the outskirts of Chennai has been earmarked for IIT Madras's future endeavours. So the Tayur campus is a 250-acre campus in which we are planning to set up a lot of new exploratory, large-scale, high-impact projects. Effective in a sense, it translates into something very important for our country. There is a necessity for our country to bring in that Atma Nirbharta in that particular field. That is where we are concentrating. IIT Madras has begun a one-of-a-kind online education program to reach out to as many people as possible. Its USP being that they attend to every single student enrolled in these programs. So my ambition is to have 50,000 students enrolled in IIT Madras, in which around 12,500 would be on campus and the 37,500 would be through our online education. With respect to international relationships, we also find that there are many countries, like how Germany came and helped us set up an IIT. There are many places where we can go and help them build a good academic institution. Like one request has come from Tanzania, where we go and set up a IIT Tanzania. We are now uh, just signed up uh, a dual degree program, BTEC here and one year MTech with Purdue on the semiconductor electronics. We would like to ha have our students become employers and CTOs rather than employee. This is our motto. IIT Madras has been on a rapid growth trajectory over the last decade and has consistently maintained a number one position in the NIRF ranking. It is also recognized as an institute of eminence by the Indian government. With a focus on entrepreneurship and cutting-edge research, IIT Madras has set itself on a path to create an immense positive impact in society and industry by producing technology leaders who will build a truly self-reliant nation. Hope you liked our film. Now, step into the center, view our exhibits, and see for yourselves how IITM has transformed itself into an institution of global eminence.